Today we're gonna be making bacon cheddar jalapeno bear sausages. Chase harvested this bear just under a month ago. It's been in the freezer. When you're unthawing your meat and grinding it yourself, you don't want it to unthaw completely because it goes through the grinder a heck of a lot better when it's a little bit frozen. I went to the butcher's today and we got I got some pork fat. I put that in the freezer so it just gets nice and chilled before we put it through the grinder. I'm gonna prep my cheddar. And I got my bag of jalapenos. <laughs> so I'm gonna chop those up. We do all the sausages at my dad's house because he has all the stuff there. So I'm gonna prep all this, get everything packed up in the truck and we're gonna head on over there. Ah! <laughs> all right. We've got our cheese done. Now we're gonna move on to the jalapenos. I got 10. Chase doesn't like it too spicy. I can handle a little more than him, but 10 should be good. Add a nice flavor. Very important here. <laughs> when working with jalapenos, make sure you get your gloves on. When I clean these out, like I said, I have the gloves on and I just peel all that stuff out with my thumb. I find it the easiest. Those are all seeded. Now you just want to dice them up. And look who's making an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to mix the spices. So, eight tablespoons of sea salt, three tablespoons of black pepper, one jar of sweet pepper sauce, three tablespoons mustard seed. 2 tablespoons onion powder, 1 tablespoon garlic powder, 1 tablespoon roasted red pepper and garlic seasoning, 1 tablespoon chili powder, 1 tablespoon of liquid smoke, and 4 tablespoons of paprika. This recipe is for about 22 pounds of bear trim, pork fat, and bacon. I also added 8 fresh jalapenos and 2 blocks of cheddar cheese. So we are about to start grinding our meat for our sausages. We are doing a total of 30 pounds bear trim, 10 pounds pork fat, and how many pounds of bacon is that? Five packages of bacon. I think they're a little less than a pound each. We are only going to make half of that into sausages today and the other half we're just going to package for burger. So total would be about... 22 pounds of sausage. We've got our bacon and our pork and bear trims underneath. About to be ground. So it's best to let this rest for probably about an hour so all the salt melts. It's been about that. All the seasonings kind of lined up. Yeah. We got our 20 pounds of meat and fat and bacon. And then when you mix it all up, only mix it until it gets tacky. Yeah. So we almost forgot. We gotta add our cheddar and jalapeno. I just wanna give it one more little stir and then she's ready to be stuffed. So Chase is just st stuffing the sausage stuffer. It's so funny. I don't know why. It's the sausage stuffer we use. And then we're uh, using real casings. Kenny B is making little meatballs. He's gonna go fry up a couple so we could taste it. It's tradition. <laughs> Every time we make sausages, you obviously have to try them. Twist one way. Next one, twist the other way. They're pretty good, you know. It's good. Mm -hmm. I love the jalapenos. Though. Mm -hmm. It's a little warm. Mm -hmm. I love jalapenos. I like these sausages. Oh yeah, they're good. It's very tasty. Mm -hmm. 
You don't think you can improve on them at all? This is very good. Very, very good.